In this movie, we will create the interior walls and columns on the first floor. Continue working in your own model or download Step 7 DWG. Hide the floor slab, then isolate the layer of the ground floor columns. Now it is easy to select all columns and copy them vertically over a distance of 3150 mm. Because of a different floor thickness, the first floor columns are 100 mm higher. Choose Select Aligned Faces in the Quad to select the top face of the first floor columns. Choose Bim Drag and move the cursor upwards, then type 100 and press Enter. In the front view, select the first floor columns and place them on the columns one layer. Click the Show Entities and the Unisolate tool to display all geometry in the model. Set layer interior walls one current. Switch off entity snaps. And set the ignore entity snap elevation option on. Start the polysolid command. Hover over the first floor slab and hit the shift key to lock the dynamic UCS. Press and hold the shift key. Then right click and choose Snap to Endpoint. Snap to the top corner of the wall and type 1800 in the Dynamic Entry field. Click the endpoint of the second wall when the blue tracking line displays. Specify the height 2950 mm and width 150 mm of the walls. Hit the control key to adjust the alignment. Draw two L-connected walls of the same width and height. Right-click twice after specifying the endpoint to create the walls. Don't bother about their exact position. We will correct this later on. And one more wall here. Select the interior walls and the adjacent exterior walls. Choose Isolate Entities in the Quad. Let's create the T-connections between the walls first. Hover over the end face of the wall and choose BIM drag in the quad. Hit the control key to connect the wall and right click to accept the connection. Hit the tab key to select an obscured face. Use BIM drag again to adjust the distance between the walls. Hit the tab key to select the reference face. Then type the distance. See Dimensions DWG for the correct dimensions.
Click the Show Entities tool to display all geometry in the model. The next few walls have a width of 100 mm. Notice that the alignment of the first and the second wall is center. Again, isolate these walls and the adjacent exterior walls to create a connection and adjust the location. Use the window overlap selection method to select the walls. Then choose L Connect in the quad. Right click to accept the bisector L connection. Use bin drag to create the T-connections and to correct the position of the dividing wall. We will first create a sill-like base around the Pathio. Switch Ignore Entity Snap Elevation off and set Endpoint Snap on. Draw a series of three L-connected polysolids. Snap to the corners of the opening in the floor slab. Width 50 mm, height 200 mm. Hit the control key to adjust the alignment if necessary. Set the glass walls one layer current. Place the glass walls on top of the base entities. Hit the control key to adjust the alignment. Snap to the top of the interior walls to define the height. In the next movie, we will create a floor finish on the first floor and the terraces and the entrance canopy. Thank you for watching this tutorial movie. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.